Hallelujah. But these things will be. Next we have signs of scoffers. Hallelujah. Second Peter. Second Peter 3, 3 to 5. Hallelujah. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. But have all things stand, stood, stand, stand still since the beginning of creation? Not the same. There were prophecies that were fulfilled. Things that happened. Hallelujah. And if we read Daniel. Hallelujah. You will know all these prophecies. Hallelujah. Men on the street saying. From the barn my father tell me Jesus to come. And he can't come yet. Me go on a party go enjoy myself. You can't bother with that. But what would it feel like to be in that party when the Lord come? What would happen to you gaining the whole world? Hallelujah. And lose your only soul. Hallelujah. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Hallelujah. Some of us live in fornication. Hallelujah. Don't want to live the holy and truthful life. Hallelujah. Before you give yourself to the Lord, I say, boy, I have to live in a defanication life because the flesh, we can't leave the flesh at all. But the flesh will fail you. The lust of the flesh will fail you. Hallelujah. For this they were willingly and ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Hallelujah. Next we will have signs of perilous times. And this is in 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 7. Make note of these scriptures. So you can remind yourself over and over again. Because you will be seeing all these signs as we are seeing them now. Hallelujah. Second Timothy, Timothy 3, 1 to 7. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy many will be without natural affection they will be truth breakers fall accusers false accusers incontinent fierce dispersers despisers of those that are good they will be traitors Heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but de denying the power thereof. Hallelujah. For such turn away. Hallelujah. Having a form of godliness. Having a form of godliness. They have the Bible, they read what they want out of it and take what they want out of it. 
but denying the power thereof. Denying the truth of the word of God. Hallelujah. For of the sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts. Hallelujah. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Hallelujah. There have some of us who study. We went to university. Hallelujah. We went to all kinds of colleges. Hallelujah. Always learning. But they cannot acknowledge the truth. Hallelujah. They will have the Bible and they read it cover to cover and they can't come to the grip that there is only one God. Hallelujah. One God. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Bible didn't say two or three Lords. It said one Lord. Hallelujah. Next there will be signs of the beginning of sorrow. Matthew 24, verses 6 to, 6 to 8. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Hallelujah. I don't know how many of us felt the earthquake the other day. Earlier this year, I was at the airport at work and I only felt the place started to shake. But it was about five minutes before I read this scripture. A brother had sent it to me on my WhatsApp and I would sat there and I read it. And about five minutes after I read it, the earthquake came. Hallelujah. I was standing there and it was like I was on a, on a, on a, on a surfboard. The whole place was unstable. And I said, my God, this is it. Hallelujah. But these are the beginning, hallelujah, of sorrows. Next we have signs of the spirit of Laodicea. Laodicea. Revelation 3, 14 to 7. Revelation 3, 14 to 17 rather. And unto the angel of the church of Laodiceans. Right, these things says the Amen, the faithful, the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert, I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Hallelujah. The church of Laodicea. Hallelujah is the time that we are in from 1900 to the coming of Christ. This is the time of Laodiceans. Hallelujah. This is the time we are charged to watch and to keep our garments clean. Hallelujah. Today, those who are unsaved among us, give your life to Christ. For what it is to gain the whole world and lose your soul, Jesus stands at the door. 
and he knocks open your heart and let him in hallelujah for there shall be the white throne judgment for after the reign of Christ a thousand years hallelujah the devil shall be bound again and cast into the pit of fire and brimstone death shall be cast into this fire and those who were asleep who did not rise on the first resurrection will rise at this judgment the books will be open revelation 20 11 to 15 and i saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to thy works Brethren, let your light so shine that God may see your good works. Hallelujah. The signs of the time of the coming of the Lord is very near. Can we all stand? Hallelujah. Don't take these words lightly, brethren. Hallelujah. For the word of God is the power unto salvation. Hallelujah. Of it, I am an ambassador of the word of Christ. Hallelujah. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we bless your name. O oh, King of kings and Lord of lords, we thank you, Lord God, for the saving grace, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. The power of your saving blood, Lord God Almighty, that sets us free, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. For who the Spirit sets free is free indeed. Continue to lift us up, Lord. Continue to hold us steadfast in your word. Hallelujah. Through the reading of your word, through prayer, hallelujah, through consecration, hallelujah. Let us all continue to stand firm on your word, Lord God. Lift us up to higher heights and deeper depths, Lord God. In your word, Lord God Almighty, Give us a deeper love for you, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let us not seek after the things of the world, but look up eternally, Lord God, to the things that are everlasting, Lord God. Father, I bless your name today, Lord. Oh, God, and I give you praise for the privilege to be here, Lord God. Oh, God Almighty. Bless your saints today, Lord God. Bless the unsaved who heard the word today, Lord God Almighty. Let them not harden their heart, Lord God Almighty. What draw them to you, Lord God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah. You are King and you are Lord. We worship you, Father. And we give you thanks. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Hallelujah. Let your will be done. Now and forevermore, Lord. Now and forevermore. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you and bless you. Hallelujah.